Well, Peter, good opportunity to give some players some game time tonight. What were your reflections on that? <laughs> yeah, no good. Um, a great run out for us. Um, and it gave everyone, certainly those that haven't been involved recently, a chance to get some minutes and blow some cobwebs out. And I thought they did that. So it was a, a really good workout for us. Yeah, and nice to see Mike McGrath back in the yeah. hold again. A very yeah. deserved man of the match tonight, I thought. Yeah, I thought, I thought he'd done well. I mean, his, his energy is always good anyway. Um, I thought the first 10, 15 minutes, he probably tried a bit too hard to get into the game. Uh, but eventually, once he settled down, he, he shows what he brings to the team. He's a great athlete and uh, and he done really well. So he, he was and pleased he's come through it. He unscathed again. So that's I think he's had I think he had a game on Saturday and then a game today. So them two games would have done the world of good. Absolutely. Yeah. Jamie Bird took a bit of a knock towards the end there. Is he yeah. OK? Yeah, hopefully he'll be all right. I think he just rolled his ankle a little bit as he crossed it. The lad caught him a little bit late. So. Uh, but like I said, I'm sure that'll be fine and, and he'll be OK come Saturday. Yeah, and a few people were surprised to see young uh, Sean Swan start tonight. What mm. can you tell us about him? We, yeah, we, we, we've, we obviously, we've got a few of the young lads with George and Harry and, uh, and Dan Pugh oh. and, and Jamie, James Hancock. Um, but unfortunately, Dan and uh, Jamie are both injured. Uh, but we want, <laughs> we'd like to give them as much experience and, and exposure to the first team as we can. They train with us on a fairly regular basis. Um, Sean hasn't been training with us, but I thought he came in tonight and, and done extremely well. The first time he's met up with some of the players, he was down to play in the game the first time round. But yeah, he done he done great tonight and looked looked fairly accomplished and uh, one for the future maybe. Yeah, and uh, a cup final to look forward to. So, <laughs> so if it, three years on the trot would be quite nice. It's, uh, yeah, lads club will it be in the final? I, I think that's the way it's going to be. Yeah, so same as last year. So. Yeah, and we'll, we'll look forward to it and we'll, as always, we show this competition respect because it's a local one and, you know, and we put we put, always put out a fairly strong side and, and, and we're you know, strong tonight and we'll be looking forward to the cup final at the end of the season. And we were all up there in the commentary box watching the other matches in the uh, Southern Premier tonight and uh, Kings Lynn did it again with a couple of late goals. Yeah, well, like I said, <laughs> we, you know, it's what you expect from, from quality teams. I think I think Dorchester kept him was three or with 15 minutes to go. Yeah. So and then and then they popped up and got one as well. So but we know we know it's in our hands still and it's up to us and what we do. So like I said, what we can do is is hope that maybe one of them maybe tonight might have been the one when they slipped up, but they didn't. We don't expect them to. So you know and they're probably thinking the same about us. But we've got to make sure we keep our head down and keep performing as we have done. Well, thanks very much for your time, Peter. No problem. Hey, how um, how big are these next two games? Double header over the.